<laughs> the slender birch, the forest girl, they called it in Poland, because in winter it goes naked. <laughs> ah. Ah, nature. But nature does not get passed down with culture. Culture is mechanical. And when culture becomes mechanical, it ceases to become culture. And it becomes a machine. It becomes something that deforms you. That doesn't inform you. And this is what culture is. It's your information that is carried genetically from generation to generation, and which grows you, which informs and transforms you. When that culture is given over to a machine, because you've managed to invent language, printing presses, and now computers that carry it over unnaturally, inauthentically, unculturally, then what you have is not information, but a deformation. So you're transformed downward, not upward. And so what civilization effectively is through this transmission of culture through the machine and not nature is compound retardation. It's not just retarded. I mean, you know, if it was just retarded, there wouldn't be cars and planes and motorways and car parks. And computers and uh, hydron accelerators and scientists. There would just be retards wandering about, you know. But now it's compounded over, you know, over what, thousands of years. I mean, writing, let's not forget, began with papyrus, began with um, the Chinese, the Egyptians. Uh, thousands of years ago. And so all this has been carried over for a long time, for many, many generations. And so the transmission of culture is no longer natural. And it never has been. And so what you have is another lie hidden in plain sight is culture. It's not culture, it's a machine. And so the, the sooner you get uh, your head round that, the sooner you can get out of the machine and back into the cultivating force of nature. And the one hand